A very warm welcome, so ladies and gentlemen. I would like to invite you to watch uh, a movie three uh, for uh, formatting uh, research uh, papers. So, uh, as you can see, uh, after we set up the cover page uh, already, uh, we need to uh, start uh, uh, chapter one, uh, especially if you work on a research, uh, a research uh, paper. So we need to start uh, chapter one. So as I said earlier, it's a good practice to turn on a paragraph symbol. So now I want to turn it on. So you can see here, uh, we hit uh, you know, enter uh, four times uh, before we uh, enter, you know, the uh, the title of our research uh, paper. So here we enter, we hit enter three times before we, uh, you know, uh, wrote down uh, the due date for the assignments. So as you can see, chapter one uh, for a research project is is normally in introduction. Uh, chapter two, uh, review of related literature. Uh, chapter three, research methodology. Chapter four, research results or findings. Chapter five, uh, discussion. Uh, and the last chapter, chapter six, uh, conclusion, uh, limitations, and further studies. And after that, you're going to have reference page. And then finally, you go to Appendix A, Appendix B, Appendix C, etc. So now let's come back. Uh, you know clearly that, uh, I know clearly that uh, Chapter 1 will not occupy, uh, you know, uh, the same page as the cover page. So it needs to start uh, on a new page. So now I turn on the paragraph symbol, and <laughs> frankly speaking, ladies and gentlemen, I used to do this in order to go to the new page. I, I used to hit enter, 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 and until I go to uh, the second page so that I can write down uh, chapter one <laughs> introduction. I used to do that. I used to do that, but please uh, don't do that. Please don't do that. I would undo. So you put the cursor here. You can hit enter once if you like. Okay. You can hit enter once. Now the cursor is flashing. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we've gone, uh, we, we want to go to page number two uh, for uh, chapter one uh, introduction. So we go to page layout. Uh, the tab, okay, page layout, tab, and you go to uh, breaks uh, here. So you click on the arrow, and you go down to uh, uh, section breaks, and you choose next page. So something magic uh, happens, ladies and gentlemen. Now the cursor is on the second page where we will write down a uh, chapter one uh, introduction. So you can see here, uh, you can see something uh, like this. This is section break, next page. So what does a section break, next page mean? What does this concept, important concept mean? It means, a great, great deal. It simply, it simply means uh, now we break, we break the relationship between the cover page and the the second page. So there is no relationship between between the cover page and uh, chapter one uh, page. So. I want to prove, uh, you know, that concept to you. Let's say if I if I hit enter, I'm sorry. Now I can start writing 
let's say I uh, enter chapter chapter one. Now, if I write down chapter one, chapter one, introduction. Okay, so if I hit enter again, so you can see it does not affect. Uh, I enter a lot of times and it does not affect uh, chapter one introduction. Uh, in other words, uh, chapter one introduction is not move down and down and down. So, however, if I keep uh, hitting enter, the last one, you can see uh, uh, chapter one introduction uh, go to a new page because this is this illustrates the concept of page break. It simply means chapter one introduction will be on a new page all the times. So I want to undo that. So again, uh, that's that's the core concept of, of uh, section break uh, next page. So now uh, we talk about uh, the format uh, for uh, the research paper. This is uh, uh, centered, okay, you can see. This is not a line left or a line right, it's centered. Uh, APA recommend uh, that we use bold, okay, chapter one, uh, introduction bold. It's a good idea to, uh, to to uh, enter and uh, enter chapter overview and this is a good practice to have chapter overview and we're gonna click we're gonna hit enter again and we choose left align and now you can enter uh, background of the study here and if you go, and after that and after that you can go to a statement of the of the problem and after that going to be research purpose and that and after Research questions and next significant of the study. And after that, we're gonna perhaps if you have any term to define, uh, you can enter definition, definition of key terms. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, for your research uh, proposal or complete uh, research uh, paper, uh, it's going to be, uh, let's say, a paper outline. If it is a, a, a research, complete research paper, it's going to be paper outline. So I want to uh, uh, explain a little bit uh, about some concepts, important concepts. So this is a chapter one introduction. This is called uh, heading one or heading level one. So le heading level one is supposed, okay, or must, must be in the center, okay? must be in the center. That is heading level one. Uh, for chapter overview, I uh, consider it as a, as a level one also, okay? This is called a heading level two. So you can see he heading, le uh, heading level one, APA uh, require that heading level one to be centered. Heading level two is 
aligned to the left bowl. And this is heading level two, heading level two, heading level two, all are heading level two. Please do not confuse, ladies and gentlemen. Don't call this heading level two. This is heading level three. This is heading level four, etc. Why? Because uh, they are in bowl and they are left aligned. So, uh, in, a, uh, in appearance, okay, uh, in appearance, they, they all look the same. They all look the same. So, um, so I have just introduced to you uh, two concepts uh, related to APA uh, style. Concept number one is heading level one, which is centered. And heading level two, like that, heading level two, which is in bold and left aligned. I will talk about uh, heading level three uh, in a moment. Uh, uh, in order to, in order to, uh, you know, introduce to you more important concepts that you know we need to we need to understand so let's go to now if i want to go to chapter chapter two what should i do ladies and gentlemen we know that chapter two is about uh, literature review or review of related literature so chapter two is not going to be on you know uh, the same page as chapter one, it must be on a, a, an odd number page, meaning that it's going to be on its own page. A separate page starts with uh, an odd number, for example, number 11 or, or number uh, 7 or number 5. Okay, so how are, how are we going to, to uh, go to a new page for chapter 2, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So the cursor is flashing here. You can see the cursor is flashing here. We're going to go to page layout. We're going to go to breaks. And we're going to go to next page. If you come back, you can see se section break, next page. So this is chapter two. So we go to home tab. We go to uh, centered and we can enter chapter chapter 2 like that and review of related literature and we're gonna enter we're gonna put here chapter overview and we're gonna hit enter again so it's going to be left aligned. So let's say um, your literature review have up to three levels, not two. We just talk about about uh, about uh, the concept of heading levels. I I already I already talk about level one concept and level two concept because in this chapter normally we have we 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 use only two levels or headings As, uh, however uh, the the level or heading can be more than two it, it could be up to five or four or five so let's uh, let let go to that concept this is as you remember this is called uh, heading level one it is bowl centered and I conceptualize chapter overview as uh, heading level one also because it's uh, bold and centered. Let's say uh, your topic is, is about, let's say our research topic is about uh, perception and practice of extensive reading among university students at one public university in Cambodia. We talk about extensive reading and then we review the literature. 
So our literature is supposed to be uh, comprehensive. Uh, what does it mean by uh, the word comprehensive literature review? You, well, comprehensive literature review uh, means uh, we review up to around 50 pieces of journal articles or book chapters. And let's say for, for a good uh, journal research project, we should review up to uh, 50 pieces of uh, book chapters and uh, in uh, journal articles. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, since uh, our movie 3 is very long already, I would like to cut it short uh, here. And I shall uh, continue to uh, movie 4, uh, where we're going to continue uh, our lesson on formatting the research papers. Uh, see you.